Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be looking at maps in Xamarin forms. This is the final result of what we'll be looking at. And if you click on any of this pin, you see the title of the location and the address. Without wasting time, let's get started. I have Visual Studio open here. I have a brand new project called Map Hub. It is brand new. And the first thing we're going to do is to install the NuGet package for the map. So let's go right click on the solution. Let's go to manage NuGet packages. And let's go to browse and search Xamarin Forms map. Xamarin Forms map. All oh, right, before that, let's make sure that we have the latest Xamarin Forms uh, installed to avoid error uh, from experience. Let's make sure that we have the latest Xamarin Form installed here. Uh, so the latest version is uh, 497661. So let's install that first. Okay, now that we have that installed, then we can go ahead and install our Xamarin Forms map. So here yeah, we're going to make use of the Xamarin Forms map. This is particular one by Microsoft. Uh, as I select it and install on all the projects, accept the license. Okay, we have that installed. All right. So uh, we have some plat platform specific stuff to to uh, work on before we continue. So uh, the first thing we're going to do in order to use map on hand on uh, Android and iOS uh, is to initialize the, the Xamarin form. So let's go to app delegate for iOS before the before this uh, call for initializing the Xamarin form. So let's do something like Xamarin dot form maps dot init. So that is all for the hub delegate. Also, let's go to the main activity for Android uh, right before uh, here. So let's do the marine dot form maps dot init. Uh, this takes uh, this and uh, the, uh, the name of our bundle is this saved instance uh, state. So let's pass that in like that. All right. So um, uh, other, the other thing we need to do is to declare our intentions uh, uh, for uh, both Android and iOS. For, for Android in the, uh, in the Android manifest. So we have to have the metadata that contains uh, our API key, and it's going to be in between this uh, application tag. So I'm going to paste this in. So the name of the API is Android Maps, and you put your API key here. If in order to get your uh, API key, I'll, I'll put the link in the description below. The, uh, for the map doc, uh, documentation where you can see the link to get your key. But for iOS, we'll not be needing an API key. So I'll be using the iOS uh, project to, to test. All right, so now that we've done this, uh, also in our info.plist for iOS, we want to declare our intentions uh, of using uh, location. Was, uh, case want to use. So let's right click on this open with XML editor and right down here I'm going to paste in uh, some set of keys right here uh, the first one is talking about uh, I always use it description description is going to show uh, uh, can we use your location at all time the second one is uh, when the location is in use uh, so the string the, the, the permission request will be can we use the location when you have when app is being used um, and the last one. So you have to change all this to your custom text 
uh, this is just what I copied from the documentation so that we can have something in case uh, we are request we have a pop-up uh, requesting for permission. All right, now that uh, that is done, so let's go ahead and close up this. We can now uh, start adding map to our page. Using map is very simple. Uh, I'm going to put a grid right in here. And um, I'm going to do something like map. 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 And um, I'm going to resolve this namespace. So I'm going to bring it from me. Control dot. I'm going to use the one in the marine forms map. Okay, so now that we have this, now I'm going to paste in some code snippets uh, right here, uh, just for sake of uh, uh, brevity. So I'm going to paste in this. Let me do it like this. Okay. So uh, what this does is we are setting the item template for our our map. That is what will contain all the pins that we are binding to the map. So I have to set that the that template for the pins, and we are binding uh, to some properties here, which we are going to which we are going to declare very soon. And uh, also, let me just set some other properties to uh, this uh, map right here. Just say uh, the map map type is street and. Uh, wants to be to enable zooming okay so we have that that is for our map that is uh, our XAML implementation so if if i run this now we're going to see the map show but i want to quickly add some things uh, uh to our map so that we'll be able to say add some pins uh in on our map so what i'm going to do is uh Instead of making an API call to Google Places, I already have uh, a zip uh, file here. I'm going to bring into this project. I'm going to paste it here. I have a JSON file called Places, and uh, you can see I have a bunch of places and geo coordinates. I'm going to set the build action to embedded resource. Uh, that's it. So uh, this is. Um, what we're going to be using to bind to our map. So the, the other thing I want to do is I need a class that will hold all these properties that will set for our pin, where we position the address and, and the place name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new class. Uh, I'm going to have a class here. Um, I'm going to call it places. Okay, so right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the JSON the JSON uh, file that I have, I'm going to select all and copy. I'm going to use it to generate uh, my model. So let me delete this. I'm going to uh, go to edit, paste special, paste JSON as class. So now we have our class model here. I'm going to change some things here. I'm going to call this places back. Okay. So this is what's going to uh, we're going to use to uh, disrealize the, uh, the JSON. Okay. So one last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring in another class here uh, to transform the object, the if those information. I'm going to call it place, and um, I'm going to set this to forms of map. So this holds the place name, the address, and icon. Uh, we're going to use uh, the information from this uh, this, real, this realization. We're going to use it to we're going to transform those objects into uh, this form. Okay. So um, right in our uh, main page, it says I want I'm going to, I'll bring in uh, a code snippet, and what that does is it goes to it goes to uh, fetch the file. So let me explain. So we have a, a method called update map here. What it does is go to fetch the uh, 
the goes to fetch the the file, the JSON file, and um, what uh, it's going to do is uh, extract the string from that JS from this JS all this this JSON extract all the strings out so we can use uh, JSON convert into JSON to do the deserialization. So I'm going to quickly resolve some name spaces here so that uh, can make use of it. I'm going to install this right away. Find and uh, find and install latest version of this for me. That is done. And um, okay. So I'm going to name my map. Let's give it a name hex name because my map. Okay, I'm going to save all this. Okay, so the last thing is um, let me bring in the, the list property. So we are binding to. I'm going to bring it up right here. Okay, so this is just so that we have something to bind to. Um, our map. So right here, I'm going to uh, delete this a little. Uh, just, it's not necessary, but I just like to just make a little delay of about two seconds, and uh, after that, call the update map right here. Okay. So uh, this will go to uh, get all the information from the JSON file and um, I'm going to use this to pass it and uh, get this, the information out of, out of it. Uh, right here, what we're using, what, what we're doing at this point, the only thing I, I think I should show at this point that uh, is map related is right here, we are, we are setting the item source uh, to the play uh, places list which is this list and uh, also here all we are doing is we are setting the center of the the uh, map to a location now right here you can decide to set the center of the location to your own uh, location and to do that uh, you can it's very simple let me just quickly show you before we run this so we can get your location house very simple using the as a mining essential uh, class so let us say location equals uh the marine dot essential dot geo location you get location async so by the time you do this uh let's await this so by the time you do this right here you see you have a location and you can now decide to Bring in your uh, at the altitude, the accuracy, the latitude, the longitude, altitude, and pass it in, and pass it in to this location. So at the center of the map will be at your current location. So I'm going to comment this out, because I'm not going to use it. All right, so let's run this application, and let's see what we have. We have our map uploading. Yeah, there it is. See, we have our pin. Uh, yeah. Then we we'll select any of the pin. See, we have uh, the name of the place. All the planes are, are clustered together. You can zoom uh, to separate them and see how it looks like. So that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to get notifications when we upload new content. Okay, thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.